Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching CG of video. Today I created this magical trail effect in Unreal Engine 5.5. So let's start this tutorial and see how I created this. So let's start this tutorial. So for that, I'll go to Unreal Engine 5.5 and let's take a new level. I'll take this open world and yeah, that's right. And now let's make a new Niagara system and I'll take the fountain and I'll call this NS trail and let's make it a little darker this fountain not visible I'll take it again I don't know what the bug is so basically we have this I'll delete the gravity and the velocity I'll take the point velocity maybe just little bit maybe just 25 okay and let's say size maybe 150 i don't need this okay so we have this and if i drag this in the viewport and if i move it will make a trail cool but this doesn't look cool trail or magical trail but we can make it so let's make a material so i'll just save this and let's make a material m trail and inside it what i'll do basically i have actually lots of textures but i will use this one if i type bg art this one of course i created it using ai so you can also so i'll just select this in the material i'll use this if you connect this here this is how it looks let's make this unlit okay but when I'm moving this mesh, this texture is moving with it because it just wrapped on that mesh. So what I'll do, I'll take the screen position and just connect this. So this texture will always uh, like project on the screen. See, I'm moving my mesh, but still the texture is same. Cool. Then what I'll do, I'll take a radial and just multiply. Uh, or just directly connect to the opacity mask and make this mask so this will mask it through this radial and it is now cut uh, radial uh, form of that planner so i'll just save it for now we will tweak it later uh, we, maybe we will add some things i'll browse this and we had this trail this is very basic trail let me make some space here very basic trail so what i'll do i'll browse this and just use it here and boom it will look cool see so we have now this cool trail which projecting that texture and now we can make it even even cooler so first thing in here i'll take the size and make a curve so basically at zero it should be zero at point two it's becoming one And I'll make it like this and at one it will become zero again so it will be like that and maybe life maybe six five little higher life maybe size 200 and 60 maybe and now if I move it we have this bigger and looks cool already okay and then there this this is scaling down like this but we will add some more fun into it so for now what i'll do i'll take this noise and if i project this is my noise i'll make the size point 101 approx then i don't need this to minus one and that's it i'll just take the red channel and multiply this with this and then we can connect this here and if i save if i top this that radial will be now uh, distorted uh, with this because of this noise so i'll save it again and now see this will look way better cool but still something missing that i will add
I will add lots of things. So what you can do, I want some glow on the edge. So what I can do, like you have this or you have the radial. If you take three color blend, if you put the radial here, it will show you the three colors depending on black, gray and white. And then we can use it after this, after this noise. So again, you have the same thing. I'll take the zero. I want my red to make black and I want my blue to black and I have just this green which is basically edge we can use a power to like increase or decrease the thickness of that edge if I'm increasing the value the edge will decrease then I will multiply this with the same texture and then I am multiplying it again so I have a control how much glow I want then or you can use particle color if you want then add it to the previous now i'll take the dynamic parameter and this is my edge thickness and this is my edge glow edge brightness you can say so this will be edge thickness and then edge glow cool i'll save it now here if i take the dynamic parameter and as thickness by default i put like five and increase the edge glow see but this is making it green because i forgot to add one here that's how it will make it white i'll save it again and now this is and i can decrease this so i will use it some somewhat like this maybe 50 and then I'll increase this value to maybe 800 and then we can also animate this. So let's say I have a curve here. Initially it is 50 and at point 2 maybe it is like 500 and same I'll do with the curve uh, the glow. Initially my glow is like 500 and at point 2 the glow is 0 okay cool now if I move this we have this cool glow cool it's scaling down very quickly I will make a curve here basically I'll just make this like this so it, it will scale little gradually cool we can make little darker scene so it will be visual properly or maybe three one more thing we can do we can just copy and paste this and what i'll do if i isolate this uh i'll make the size maybe 10 and 5 10 and 2 then we will add curl noise maybe like uh, 230 and to make them bright overall we can take the particle color multiply whatever is going to the emissive multiply that and then here i'll save it again and in the smaller particle i will increase the brightness maybe like 50 50 50 okay and you have now this and i'll increase the drag maybe one and curl noise maybe 20 okay yeah so we will have some magical dust kind of thing also but that's little too glowy because it has also here glow so i'll just make it five okay cool looks cool really just to showcase we can increase the spawn rate if you want okay this this looks really cool
you can also add little curl noise in this one like 100 cool not that much maybe just 50 and i think that's it i'm happy with it and we can just leave it here that's it